righty then. A few more inches. A few more inches? Yeah. I always take a few more yeah, inches. Yeah. yeah. Of course you. All right. So basically, we are back in the podcast. We got the Messiah Bo back. Yeah, you know the Messiah. Uh, we got Matt back. Yeah, you know Mr. Fleet. I love you. Yeah, you know yeah, I love you too, baby girl. And we got a we got a guest right now. He's playing Dokkan Battle on his phone. You know the freaking Dragon Ball Z legend. You guys all know him. Anime geek. Everyone loves him. The greatest titties I've ever seen on a man. Would you like to say your name, sir? Would you like to say your name, sir? Uh, hello, my name is uh, DJ Junior. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what? I didn't come up with a good name. This, this podcast is going to complete shit now. Oh, come on. Don't We're say not going to call you DJ Junior the best. whole time, bro. Right. Just say your actual name. All right, my name is Miguel, and uh, I am a guest here. And I am special. All right, pass the mic back to me. You. Pass the mic back to me. <laughs> is Playboy Cardi the best rapper alive? Oh my alive? god! <laughs> <laughs> is Playboy? Totally true. Nah, it's my name it's is Bo, aka. Shout out my Instagram, better fuck, you know, at that fucking. And my boy, Ben Fleet. My name is Matthew, and um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pass Matthew. it on to Anthony. Shout out Matt. Shout out Matt. Alright. So Matthew, uh since the last podcast, if Matthew's you keep it that close to your face, bro. Matthew's okay. giving us <laughs> he's giving us some good equipment, you know. My quality might be better, you know. Uh so basically, what are we going to talk about on this podcast, guys? Do you guys want to get into the questions, still? Maybe like a... Let's start with the fucking questions. Let's start with the questions? Let's start with, with um, the questions, because we all know how that turns out. Uh, you know, I feel like, to start it off, we should have something from, like, last podcast to, like, remind people. Well, or, like, something know, that we how didn't... How about this? How about you, from last podcast to now, say what happened? Uh, so basically, last podcast, uh, we had Matt on. It was a... We, we didn't have good questions for Matthew. We mostly just had questions about love because uh, we rushed it. We didn't really have that much time to, like, talk. But now we, we got a general idea of what gets Matt to, like, talk more. Like, what interests Matt more instead of, like, talking about love and shit. Like McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah, we got to talk <laughs> about Mc- McDonald's. Shout out McDonald's here, you know. Uh, sh- and by the way, this is, like, a singular directional mic. I don't know yeah, I know. So Shout out. Let genuinely pass it around. Yeah, so basically, uh, I think we should start off with a story from Matt. All right, uh, I remember uh, like Matthew like working at McDonald's and like me and my friends would like go over to like fucking say hi to him. It was like summer shit, and like we were like eating, and then this guy was fucking found in like the fucking McDonald's bathroom, and I don't know what the fuck happened, but uh, the manager busted in. And she started screaming at this heroin addict and shit. And she was fucking screaming to get the fuck out. Because it looked like he was like trying to sleep in the bathroom. Like he was trying to sleep in there. And I don't know what the fuck he did. But I think it was fucking disgusting. I don't know. Like he probably like took a shit in like a McDonald's cup or something. Or took a shit in fucking somewhere. And you, I think he was trying to wash himself or something. But uh, she called the police. And the police came. And they found a fucking needle in the bathroom where the fucking person was at. And then, like, he was running. Like, he was trying to get away from that McDonald's as fast as possible. And actually, was, I, I, was I there? Yeah, you were there. I was like, and I go up to Matt. I'm like, yo, Matthew, what the fuck just happened? And he was like, I don't know. But, like, the cops went and saw the bathroom and shit. And I was like, yo, there's someone fucking shooting up heroin in your fucking bathroom. And I started laughing. I was like, yo, I'm never using that fucking McDonald's bathroom ever, dude. It's 420. It's 420. All right, uh, we, we got into, I think that's a, was that a good enough story? Like a McDonald's story for this podcast. All right, I think we should get into questions and see uh, see what everyone thinks about it. You know. All right. All right. First question. Do you think that news is better than social media when it comes to politics? Why wouldn't it be better? I mean, like, think about it. it sometimes the news just wants to tell people something to like get a headline, 
to like get it out there and like social media it shows you the things that the news won't you know like yeah. you'd be seeing videos of people getting shot people getting killed in like other countries that you don't really get on the news yeah so which one's better for like politics See, my opinion on that matter is that uh, news is great and all, but social media also provides a good flow of uh, information. But the problem with social media is that so many people are biased. I have seen this a lot. They could uh, claim to be unbiased and everything, but at the same time, you see them over here pushing pushing this, these ideals on other people. And all the way in the comment section, you see people just like, yeah, yeah, you're so correct, you're so correct, thank you for uh, reporting on this. And uh, so the news outlets are also biased in a way. They show you what they want you to see and everything. Well, that's basically my opinion on this uh, matter. So I don't know who wants to take it from here. I don't know what to say <coughs> about the politics type shit. Oh, what was the question? <laughs> it's Playboy it Cardi. No, <laughs> is is social media or news a better news outlet? Like, no, when it comes to politics, which is better news? Yeah, you're gonna yeah. put this down more and then hold the mic up. Yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about that. But like, yo, recently, I don't know if it was recent, but uh, Johnny Depp came out as um, like he was a uh, he was abused by his wife. Yeah. And and not a lot of people talk about it because you know. Men, he's, a guy, he's, a, guy. he's a guy and everything, and I feel like that's horrible. You that's know, sad. it's so sad, bro. I got something to say. <laughs> doing? <laughs> it's the fucking chips all over place. Yeah, so I mean, uh. Um, Why the fuck did you put the chips in the middle? Because anybody wants to? To me, yeah, like, what's your problem, yo? You want to? You what do you want them on your lap or something? Well, let's hope nobody heard that. Um, well, I mean, yeah, social media will, uh, tell you things that news won't, I guess, and, uh, depending on what authorities see that, it might get taken down. I mean, but there's also a lot of fake on, fake stuff on there, right? I mean, like, how, how many fake things did you think you saw on social media? Fucking one where the, the old man got his shit burned. What? By fucking leaders. You guys haven't seen that video? That video where I haven't the, seen it. Something, something fake that I saw on social media was uh, the uh, the video of that old man getting his uh, fucking shit burned. Uh, like, because I remember I, got, I had an argument with Miguel about, like, he was like, yo, I just saw this thing on freaking social media where freaking uh, this white uh, homeless man got his stuff burned by looters. And I was like, dude, that's that's a fake video. That's that's not real. And he was like, what are you talking about? They legit like freaking burn his stuff down, and he freaking worked on it for himself. And I'm like, how the fuck do you know that? You just gave a whole backstory to someone you don't even know. And I'm like, why the fuck would Izzy screaming at the fucking camera? Is it is it the instead one, uh, of it's, it's a video, right? Yeah, the one from fucking yeah. uh, what I forgot what it's. They gave him new stuff. Infowars. It was it was from Infowars and shit. Well, this is Insiders. This is the website. Music. It was uh, Infowars. Insider, really. Infowars was a freaking video, uh, and it was like a, it was a fucking video that freaking old man just screaming at the camera, and I'm like, why the fuck is he screaming at the camera instead of the people that fucking burned his mattress and shit, and then you realize that they're they're paid actors, and uh, Miguel was like, wow, well, uh, yeah, basically they were paid actors, and Miguel fucking had a whole argument with me. Oh no, this isn't the same one. Yeah, Infowars just straight up fucking. They try to manipulate uh, people into thinking that the looters, like the protesters for uh, Black Lives Matter, were oh, yeah. doing that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. Miguel, what do you want to say about it? See, like, what you were saying was correct. Uh, from the point where you said that, I, I, I realized where I was wrong when you said, oh, this is from InfoWars. But the one where I was trying to defend it was where this uh, older black gentleman had his store uh oh, yeah. ran into and then uh looted and he comes outside yelling at the looters telling why are you looting my store why are you looting my store that's where i got the heated arguing me with you but i'm not gonna lie we did have an argument about the homeless man and and that's when i realized i was wrong about that but you tried to justify the looters against them going against that black gentleman 
Uh, and he said he worked very hard for that. And that's where you got that line where I said uh, he worked very hard for it. Uh, basically, there there were some good looters. And then, no, they were just looting for things that they wanted. They weren't looting for a cause. You know what I mean? They were just fucking, they wanted Gucci belts. They wanted the flex. They wanted something they could sell online. They just freaking looted for the worst possible thing. But uh, other times where they freaking... Some, sometimes they just did something stupid, and I kind of didn't like it. Like, when they took down statues from, like, actual people that fought in the fucking Civil War that were actually on the right side and not the left. You know what I mean? Whose statue did they pull down? Huh? Uh, I think it was uh, Ulysses Grant. Was it Ulysses Grant? I, I don't know his name, but uh, it was a person that fought in the Civil War, and he was on the... He was on the Union, yeah. <laughs> he was not in the Confederate. But uh, the Confederate statues, I I feel like we should most definitely get rid of those. Those should not still be around after fucking 100 years. Like, why the fuck are they still there? You could you can easily change those statues with something that actually means something instead of just something that spreads hate. But it did take a while for the war to be about uh, emancipation, though. Which means that not everybody, I think most people at first weren't even fighting for... You don't have the fucking mic. <laughs> I'm just sitting back on the couch without a mic. Yeah, but if I'm correct, if I remember my uh, history class correctly, most people weren't even fighting for um, black slaves to be um, freed. They were fighting because it was better for the economy for them. The union, yeah, I'm talking about the union, like, that's what they were fighting for. And then, and then later on, Abraham Lincoln had to make it about uh, uh, emancipation, which, um, if I'm correct, is the, the freemen of uh, the slaves. Um, but I'm pretty sure that was his main objective in the first place. It's just people, if he said that at first, people wouldn't like, people wouldn't like that. Because it was more of an economic thing, right? Yeah, but if you think about it, in history class, uh, the Union, what were they even fighting for? The Union were fighting for, for slavery to be abolished. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, the <laughs> the Confederacy, what were they fighting for? They want slavery to be there. Yo, you fucking ass. Don't fucking talk when you don't have the mic, dude. Give me the mic. The Union wanted slavery to be abolished, and the Confederates wanted it to stay there for economic reasons on both on both sides, right? Because, like, when you when you think about, like, history class, mostly the, the thing that pops out the most is the Confederates want their slaves. Like, they don't, they did, like, when you think about it the most, most people are just like, oh, it's not about freaking uh, economy reasons. It's mostly because they want their slaves. They want to keep their slaves. They don't want to. Because it's better for them. It's better it's for them. Be it's, it's better for them to make money, but, like, yeah, economy. economy reasons. But slaves were also part of that economy back then. So, um, Miguel, would you like to say anything? You were not following the whole conversation? You weren't? No, I'm not letting you get the mic because you're not going to say anything I'm useful. Say <laughs> no, because you're not. This you, is how he treats his podcast members. <laughs> no, come on, please. I know exactly what you're going to say. What am I going to say? You're going to say, is Playboy Cardi a good <laughs> rapper? <laughs> Cardi. We answer this all the time. No, you don't. You guys, you guys think no. this as jokes. Jokes, but seriously. Uh, anyways, or what you guys were talking about. Uh, the whole what? What? We were talking. Well, we were just talking. My about bad. I wasn't paying attention. The Civil War and what people wanted oh, on each side, the Confederates and yeah, the Union. man, racism sucks. Racism <laughs> sucks. <laughs> These guys are talking about like like, <laughs> like ice cream now. Um. This man doesn't have a kiss on his phone. So what are we talking about now? We no wait. Hold up. Question. I want to talk about this, and I feel like it's really important. All right. So basically, <clears throat> what had happened was the whole Johnny Depp thing. Did you know how much as male, like as men, you know, or how do you say? How much men's salary is? No, no, no not salary. Do you know how much men suffer? No, basically people are saying, oh, how like recently, yo, there was this guy who killed himself, right? Because he got, he got, this woman was sl slaughtering him on, on social media saying that he raped her, but he never really raped her. The mm -hmm. guy just rejected her. And, yeah, and, and that, that whole it. thing, the whole thing was, the, it's, because everybody was siding on her side, but no one was believing him, and basically he took his own life because of all of this. 
I heard, I heard about that on TikTok. But see, see that, that brings us back. The social media social teaches media. more than... Exactly, that's what I was trying to do, but, but, but I couldn't find the right words. But then again, you gotta check the sources. That's true. So, I heard, I heard about that story, yeah. Uh, but I heard, also heard uh, stories about how uh, the guy who was, rep- uh, who was bringing out the facts, on, uh, who was posting and sharing information about his death, People are saying that she did nothing wrong, and I completely disagree with that. Just because you get rejected. People who make false allegations should be arrested. People who make false allegations should be arrested. Like, that shouldn't even be in question. You're, you're trying to ruin somebody's life and get him in jail? Why is that even a question that, that people should be prosecuted for making those allegations? Pass me the mic. I haven't had the mic. I haven't had attention in a, a long time. I need the spotlight. This is my podcast. I need attention. This is my podcast. I started this. Right? I don't care. I need attention. I am attention seeking whore. All right? Yes, exactly. That's why he started this. I needed attention. No, 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 shut the fuck up. Basically. Let me speak. I started. Let me he start preaching. Up, he, he took advantage of it. Of the All right, idea. so basically, like, we should do a podcast. All right, basically, back on the freaking thing where uh, we were talking about uh, should women go to jail for not false women. allegations? We're not saying only women. Should false rape allegations, you know? Yes, but, but I, it's mainly women. But it's. No, but it's mainly women. But it, I don't. But also, with we're not saying we're against rape. I feel like we're just we're just. I'm. I'm people who who were raped. You don't have. You everything. don't have the mic. <sighs> this is like kindergarten. You gotta. You gotta hold. You gotta hold. Yeah. The, you gotta hold the talking stick. Hold the talking stick. I. Right. So I feel like. Uh, I feel like if a guy gets sexually assaulted. By a man or a woman, he that they're gonna say it, and when they say it, it's not gonna be like an accusation. I I feel like we should take it like people would take it more seriously, because when men come out as being sexually assaulted, they they don't do it for attention. They don't do it for like payback, like freaking most of these women that have been doing. No, they do it because it's embarrassing for a man to be sexually assaulted. If you think about it, right. like well, men. Well, maybe wait, maybe. Maybe we shouldn't say most. Maybe it happened at a most young age. Ones. Yeah, like if it happened at a young age and they come forward by it, maybe it's because they, uh, it took a long time for them to like face the facts that they were sexually assaulted. Yeah. Right, but yeah, I feel like if a guy gets sexually assaulted, he's actually gonna, you know. But like, I'm not gonna lie, these women just need to stop freaking trying, getting mad at men just because they don't want them. I don't wanna be mean about it. And like, men can also be abused too. I'm not gonna lie. Men can be in an abusive relationship. Because people, like, I have this thing where I would never hit a woman. I would never hit a woman. But most women that I get in a relationship with will take the advantage of that and just beat my ass because they know I won't do anything. And that's an abusive relationship, I mean, and I wouldn't want that. See, I don't say I'm going to hit a woman, but if I have a breaking point, and if it's past that point, and it's over and over, constant, constant, it's technically self, uh, self-defense if she's constantly hitting you. Because women can't get away with that. It doesn't even matter if they're weaker than you. They think just because a man a man shouldn't hit a girl back that he won't, and that they have the power to just go and constantly abuse him. See, this is exactly what I was talking about with the Johnny Depp thing. His wife was abusing him, bro, and his his wife kept like lying or something like that. But I I don't know the whole story though. But this this yeah, the Johnny Depp was getting. Johnny Depp was like getting abused and everything. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Matt? I just think, and I'm not condoning hitting back at all, but I've seen videos on Instagram, right, where the woman is hitting the guy or the woman is harassing them or whatever, and one hit and that woman is just down. They're decked. <laughs> and and that's and it's like, oh, self-defense. She had it coming. And it's like, bro, she didn't even do anything. Like, oh. Did she scratch you on your? Did she scratch your cheek when she was hitting you? Oh, oh, maybe she agitated you a little bit, and now you have to like knock her out, right? I think I just think that's like way overboard. Fuck. Even though I'm not condoning hitting back at all. Like, anyone got any questions? My question is, what do you feel about? Uh, what do you feel about parents teaching the kid to say 
fuck the police at a very young age, around the age of two or three. I feel like uh, they shouldn't be teaching their kids off the bat that like police are obviously like bad because they need protection. When when you're younger, you still you believe that the police are on your side all the time you until you get police. until you get older, and then you realize that sometimes they're not, and they profile you. That's if you meet a cop that is like you know the meanest person you've ever met in your life. I talked about this on last podcast how there's some good police that are like nice to you and follow the, like the guidelines and rules, and then there's some that are just complete dicks to you and profile the fuck out of you. Who's next? So anyway. Yeah, about people teaching kids that, I think it's a little bit dangerous because um, because then you're teaching your children not necessarily to have a hostility toward uh, police, but but you're like you're like teaching them that police are bad, and if they think they're bad, they're gonna they're gonna not like them. They're gonna go around throwing rocks at cop cars, and and then they're gonna get arrested. They're gonna they're gonna go cu- cussing them out and whatnot, and they're gonna generate. A uh, hostility towards police by telling them that all cops are bad, especially at a young age, because of course everybody knows uh, children are they they have they're easily uh, impressionable. Is that the word? So yeah. Yeah, bro. What happened to dare? You guys know what that is? Like oh, wait, when people no, like you know when like cops go into your school and teach you like yeah. drugs are bad oh, and yeah. stuff. Yo, I mean... saw a freaking cop smoking a cigarette. And they told us okay. to stay away from stairs. <laughs> they, told, they, told us, they told us to stay away from stairs. They told us to stay away from weed. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yo. Uh, yo. No. Yo. Yo, wait, no, hold up. Yo, you know Dare made me want to try drugs? Yeah. Because <laughs> they're like, the way they depicted it and the way that, that goggle shit they used. Oh, that yo, that shit made me want to actually feel what was actually doing it. We, and see, this. Darling, yo, we're, we're talking about this and we were throwing at each other. <laughs> yo, we're. <laughs> Like, Yo, I miss Darling. Yo, if Darling ever hears this, I love you and I miss you. He's the goat. I'll respect him. But th- yo, Dare actually made me wanna encourage don't do it. Experimenting. Sorry, don't experiment, kids. I do not condone drug use. So as Anthony just coolly said, uh, he said uh, he saw a policeman smoking a cigarette, and they told us to stay away from drugs. But like, you do realize a cigarette is nowhere near a drug. It's, That's a drug. It's not a drug. Nicotine, Nicotine is a drug. It is. They were just at state. No. I think they were like, stay away from drugs, stay away from alcohol. Stay. It was, uh, it was called Dare for a reason. It was drugs, alcohol. What, what did R stand for? Yeah, it was called, it was called Dare, right? Drugs, alcohol. <laughs> Dominican Republic. R and at an E. You're, you're actually gonna look up what Dare means. Uh, yeah. Uh, drug abuse resistance education. You okay, so drug abuse on. resistance education. Really? That's what it stands for. Drug, yeah, alcohol. Yeah, alcohol. yeah, but smoking. Yeah, yeah. smoking yeah. cigarettes is abusing. Yeah. Drugs and also uh, drinking alcohol is abusing, and freaking cops do that 24 I 7. Mean, are, is, are cigarettes and alcohol even a drug? Yes, drugs. yes, they are drugs. They yeah. are classified they're as drugs. drugs. Yes. Drugs. I don't, I don't believe cigarettes that. and alcohol are drugs. Yeah, they're it, when, people say, when people say alcohol is not a drug, I am legit gonna tell you you're a fucking idiot. You're an alcoholic. Because you're an alcoholic. If you say that alcohol is not a drug, yes. you're. Alcohol, You're abusing alcohol. it exactly, like yeah. Alcoholics Anonymous. Why do you think I mean, they have it, that? It has nicotine, so it's not a joke. Nicotine is considered a drug. Yeah. Yes, nicotine it, it, is a it, joke. It, it got it gets in your pee. Well, it doesn't have to be a drug to be bad though. So either way. Well, basically, it's it's too. Fun. I don't like it when freaking people say that all drugs are bad because not this all one. drugs are bad. If you think about it. I just if said you, that If a pharmacist gives you a drug And it's recreational oh, and legal no, use no, Is that bad? Right, exactly right. So I why do people say all shit. drugs are bad? Yo, I said that before we even got here <laughs> I said that there's some drugs out here That are good And some drugs that are bad Heroin and meth are bad drugs And cocaine Anything, basically you can do drugs but it has to come from like the earth. Anything that's on the that comes from the earth, but wasn't chemically made, like with everything. With, like spice. Sp- like spice is like weed but modified. Yeah, spice or weed comes from the earth. I feel like like some no, marijuana. Weed marijuana. Marijuana. Yeah. Did you know why? You know why they called it marijuana? Why? Because like in the I don't know 1950s or when was it Ill- illegal to use weed? They put marijuana as, like, people saying that people that come from, like, the other countries are the ones using it. And, actually, this is a powerful thing. Ronald Reagan, he had this scientist that said, 
we just it the marijuana isn't that bad. Yeah, we are not a news source. Yeah, who we uses news. a podcast as a news? Well, Yo. Unless they're like dedicated news podcast or whatever. Anyways, what I was saying was. <coughs> Keemstar. Keemstar. Can I do my Keemstar impression? Yeah. Go ahead. Wait. Actually, I'm. <laughs> what is up, Drama Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. That phrase, copyright? We're going to have to edit that out. No, we're going to have to edit that I'm out. Sure I'm pretty sh- No, I don't think. I think it's copyrighted. I, I said Keemstar impression, so I gave him credit, right? I didn't think you said it into the mic. Okay, that was a Keemstar impression. Should we get into another question or should we continue talking about What I was talking about, like, there was this, like, news reporter person. I don't know. Somebody that was finding out that other drugs are bad. Give me a second. Yeah, you, you, you guys fucking do it. I'll be back. For people who don't know, I just had Anthony feed me ice cream. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Back to you, Matthew. <laughs> no, give it me. Give it me. In my defense, this man was playing Dokkan Battle and had his hands full. So I had to be a bro and feed him ice cream. Like the bro I am, you know? You already know, bro, 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 bro. I'm pretty sure uh, I had a hand open, but okay. Let's get into another question while uh, Bo is out for a little bit. Um... Do you think gay marriage should be legal or illegal? What? Like gay marriage. How do you what do you, what do you feel about gay marriage? Uh, I feel like it should be legal because so many people are starting to come out to be gay. You can't force everybody to be straight. So some people are going to be gay and some people are want to going to be married. But because like people think that gay marriage is a sin like people like that are Homosexual shouldn't get married. Lesbian, gay, trans. 